So I think pole vaulting is one of the coolest looking sports on the entire planet. Like, I really want to try it. Of course, it freaks me out thinking of all the possibilities where things could go wrong. Okay, it freaks me out a lot. My friend Emmanuel, who happens to be a Red Bull athlete, pole vaults. So I partnered up with Red Bull to go on a little road trip to Greece to try pole vaulting. Let's go. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm in a city called Skopje. The reason why I'm here is because it's a place that I know absolutely nothing about and naturally I was curious so I booked a flight here. You know, I really could have just booked a flight to Greece since that's my final destination, but I wanted a challenge so I dropped myself in an unknown city and now I gotta figure out a way to get to Athens. And being that this is one of the least visited places in all of Europe, I had to come here and see what was up. And despite the fact that I haven't come across a single other tourist in the five hours that I've been here, uh, there are some pretty cool artifacts, I've gotta say. Look! It's a river. Look, I'm under a bridge. Look, a boat. Look, I'm on a swirly thing. No complaints about this city. No complaints about this country at all. It's great. I love it. And the only problem that I've come across in my short time of being here is that, well, I'm, I'm trapped here. So I'm here and I'm trying to get to here. Between these two points, Apparently, there's no bus or train or public transit to get there. This is all confusing. I don't know what the, the plan is. I can always hitchhike, but the idea of hitchhiking scares me. I can't do it. I really, I'm too scared. I searched on multiple bus booking websites and apparently there's no route available. Error number one of my trip. Yeah, so there actually are buses that go from Skopje to Tirana, but for whatever reason I couldn't find them anywhere. Yeah, are there any buses to Tirana in Albania? As I've reiterated a million times, planning isn't my strong suit. No. Where is the bus to Albania, man? It's not listed here. So due to my ignorance, I led myself to what I thought was the one and only option, the car rentals. Hey, so... I'm currently walking an hour uh, with my bags. It's about four miles to the car rental dealership. That's my only option. What was there? Uh, so this wasn't cheap. <laughs> now, I have never driven in Europe before. This is gonna be my first time driving in Europe. I don't know how different it is. Okay. It's just like the USA. I'm kind of scared. What? what uh, this is when I go through culture shock. The roads are what make me go through culture shock. I'm actually doing this. Four hours and 46 minutes. Let's do this. Let's go to Albania, man. Let's do it. Hey, I've been driving for about an hour and... Hey, Luke, you forgot your cannon lens in the apartment. You forgot your cannon lens. Idiot. Oh, I left my thing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Stupid lens. And that's how my international road trip began. The tundra! The tundra! Look at this! Look at this! This is crazy! The plan was to drive to Tirana, then to the south of Albania, and then to Athens, Greece to meet up with Emmanuel. Not too intimidating, doable, although I was all alone. I've been driving for so long! It's only been three hours, but I'm not a good long distance driver. Who here wants to take over the driving? Nobody? Nobody? Update, I'm about to pass the border into Albania. Yeah, I get so nervous going through borders. I get so nervous. Oh no. Here it is. Coming. I probably can't film. Okay, I'm not gonna film. Goodbye. I think I have the necessary documents, but I didn't I didn't prepare for this. Oh no. And this too. So I'm not sure if it's because I look young or suspicious or what, but I had a lot of trouble crossing that border. Well, I don't know what to do. Do I get out? Everyone else was zipping by, no problem, but me, I was held up. Thank you. Red alert, go, 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 go. But eventually I did get through without getting arrested. That was so freaky for some reason. Dude, that was freaky. And I was there. I was in Albania. I'm in Albania! I never thought I'd live to see this day. I'm just kidding, I never thought I'd come here. Good night. Can you turn off that light for me? Sure, Luke, thank you. Turn off the bathroom light too while you're at it. Okay, Luke, I got you. I'm not going crazy, I promise. Good morning. As I woke up this morning in Tirana, Albania, I think I started experiencing my first feelings of loneliness. It's not the most comfortable feeling, I, I gotta admit. I don't like feeling lonely, it's not fun. But it's important, and that's why I do this. Another day, another drive, all by myself. Today I'm gonna drive down to Saran Day. I think it's how you say it's it. It's a five and a half hour drive. All me, baby. Let's do this thing! So I get lonely pretty quickly, and when I get lonely, it hits me hard. It's a challenge to get through it, but it's, it's an important challenge to face. And now we'll give you a brief tour of my Airbnb that cost me $26 USD. $27 in Albania, you get a, an entire kitchen, a table, a couch, a television, fancy bathroom, one bedroom, best part of all, wait for this, 
Wait for it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I guess it's confusing why someone who's so susceptible to loneliness ventures off by himself and in turn experiences loneliness. Let me try to explain it a little bit. If I'm being honest, every time that I set foot outside into the real world, uh, I get scared. The idea that I've got to completely fend for myself in a world full of people who have opinions and thoughts and ideas about whatever, it just gives me a lot of anxiety. Because look, when I'm home, I have access to somebody 24-7 anytime I need it. And it's not often that I get the chance to exercise my solitude. And exercising solitude is a good habit to get into. And it sucks that oftentimes the person that I'm least comfortable with is myself. It really sucks. But as hard as it may be, if I come to a foreign country alone, I've got no choice but to be alone. Ow! Ow, it's prickly! But honestly, because of all this, it's gotten easier. I feel more confident in myself. I feel like I know who I am more. And it feels good. It really feels good. That's the Greek border. So I didn't really get any footage of this, but I was actually detained at the Greek border for over an hour. I was completely under the impression that I was going to be arrested. Turns out, they just wanted a picture with me. Look together, eh? Error number two. Border control is not trying to kill me. All right, thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye, guys. I can't believe I made it. I'm, I'm in Greece. After all these hours, all this driving, I made this is it. This absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe it's too pretty for my for me to handle. Woo. I felt accomplished combating my loneliness and driving nearly 700 miles at the same time. Everything was gorgeous, everything was beautiful. And now that I was in Greece, I was ready for something that I really needed, some human interaction. Yo! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> How are you, man? This is my friend Emmanuel. Here's uh, Emmanuel Carales. Yeah, I think that pretty much explains it. He's a pole vaulter, a world champion pole vaulter training for the Olympics. I don't think anything in this world looks as cool as a pole vault. This should be pretty interesting. Hey, so basically I'm in the Olympic training facility. This is where the Olympians come and train for their sport. Perhaps I was slightly out of my element. But boy, did it feel cool to be there. That right there is where pole vaulters practice pole vaulting. How high is that? That's 530. Really? You think I can do that today? <laughs> and then it was time for Emmanuel to pole vault. And I was yes. going to see it with my own eyes. So fast. Oh! That was it. Yeah, but I didn't pass it yet. Oh. There it was, one of the coolest looking things on the entire planet. The precision, the coordination, the calculation. Flying is indeed possible. Trust me, I saw it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. But as possible as flying is, so is falling. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I am actually. actually. A lot of people die. Yeah, from pole vault. Cool. That's why it's an extreme sport. Love that for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yeah, it's an extreme sport. This is this is dangerous. It is. <laughs> pole vaulting is dangerous. Hey, I'm just changing into my pole vaulting outfit. I'm ready. Okay, yeah, so it was my turn to give the pole vaulting an attempt. It was hard to have any sort of expectations. I had no idea how high I could possibly get on my first time attempting. Let's do this. Never leave the pole. And if I leave the pole, what happens? You die. <laughs> I die. <laughs> I don't want to die. But if it happens, it happens. So I'm about to attempt pole vaulting for the first time in my life. I'm just gonna give it my best go. I, I I don't know what else to say. I'm just gonna give it my best go, and whatever happens, happens. I feel pretty like confident. You know. Solid. Feel solid. All you need is some strength, determination, and a pole. Right. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> no. Okay. I suck. This is hard. This is really hard. This 
is really hard. The feeling of that pull in your hands, and you have to run with it, and you have to, to jump, it's a lot. It goes against your instincts as a human. After dozens of attempts and a strenuous exercise of my perseverance, this finally happened. No, that's good. I'm going home an accomplished, accomplished human. Dude, I got off the ground. I flew. I flew. I flew. So we're in Grand Hyatt. It's uh, one of the best hotels in Athens. Really? So how's it feel? You tell me. I feel great. So pole vaulting probably isn't something that I would excel in. Feels nice. Feels relaxed. <laughs> so I'm going to show you my favorite view. You know, but to be able to face my fear with somebody who knows it best was priceless. I don't know, maybe it was because I was alone for so long, but those moments hit. It was a week packed full of facing my fears, alone and with a friend. Both of which I truly believe everybody needs in their life.